Okay, so I like posting these these things on Facebook, but it's it's weird for me to to talk about. Um, I am currently the president for the Professional Photographers of Washington, and we've been moving forward, and we've just been having we've just made really good use of of this last couple of years. And I'm also a member of the Professional Photographers of America. So in the last little bit, a couple of days ago, I received from the Professional Photographers of America, it's called the Master Craftsman Degree. Oh. Um, and that's a, a bigger award and it's giving out for the, the classes I've taught for PPA and for moving the, the industry forward. Uh, just a little bit ago, I entered the Oregon Professional Conference or uh, competition. I had the, the highest scoring image, which won me a best landscape trophy, best composition trophy, and a state elite award for uh, the professional photographers of America. And then I received a bronze photographer of the year award through the international competition from the uh, PPA. Uh, that's four Im Im images went in, four images merited. So that was my last two and a half months. <laughs> uh, la yeah. Last year, I, I also picked up a uh, master's of photography degree through the professional photographers of, of America as well. So it's just been, um, I planted these seeds a, a while ago. I wanted to interact with the industry and get kudos from the industry. Um, there's a personal satisfaction with that. Uh, but also as I promote, you know, education and I have the business, uh, I also use that for marketing because uh, it's just fantastic to have the industry say you're good at something and then have other people recognize that. Because, you know, we all know there's there's a thousand photographers out there and there's a thousand teachers. Um, but I just I just want to do it right. Uh, so, again, it feels weird to, to talk and talk and talk about this. But, yeah, I kicked ass over the last couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> so and then, Mike, let's at the end of the at the end of, after we do the digitals. Let's talk about the idea we had about about doing um, a meeting. I'm great with that. I'm great with and that. Just remember, everybody, that John's doing a education night next week on Wednesday. So you don't want to miss that because that's going to be fun. What is it going to be like? Yeah. So just a couple things before we get started. I don't know if I score harder or easier than the other judges. But what I want you to know is that I do pay attention specifically to composition impact and technical. Uh, so when I give a score, I'm giving a real specific score to, to what I think for each category. And I know we like the fives and the 13s and, and the bigger scores. I would just like to remind you if, if you're getting a score of 12 or if you're getting 444 four, four across, um, that's me telling you above average composition composition, above average impact, above average on, on the technical, that's the spot you want to be. Because a lot of times the difference between a four and a five is just, you know, that can be super subjective. But if you're nailing the fours, you're doing really good. And then the last part is, uh, if I give you a score, or if I make a, a critique that just seems really off, just let it go. Um, you know, I make some assumptions. In fact, uh, Tamara, uh, we were talking about the lady of our Lord shot from last week, which had a really cool shot of, of the church and the background was just flat black. And when I was looking at that, I was hoping to see some, some detail and I didn't know if the, the maker, it happened to be Tamara, blacked out the background or if that's the way it really was. Um, and so she posted it and just said, that's the way it really was. And I went, shoo, way to cover my butt. But uh, those are the kinds of assumptions that can come up that, you know, I just misfire. So, um, and then again, we're going to do prints first. And then we missed some images from last week. And then we're going to hit those. 
And in the prints, there may be a few that are kind of out of sequence, so just be patient. Not a lot of them, we'll get through them. So. Hey, Mike, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, mute everybody here. Okay. So you'll need to unmute yourself in a minute. Are we good to go? Okay, now now you're muted. There we go. Okay. Okay, general color first. Aspen impression. Okay, uh, something else I need to say too is I judged all these from the prints in David's office. And when I was going through the digital images, some of the images do look different. So just know that I was judging from a, a, a different print. Um, there's always a, a shot that seems to throw me. And of course it came up first for, for tonight. Uh, I think this is a really cool shot. It's got a lot of emotion. I love the colors. I love the, the technique that, that's done. This is more of an artistic application on it. This could look kind of blurred or, or uh, off down here, but it's just the technique. Uh, so when it came to scoring, uh, this one was a, a little bit tougher to do, but I thought it was a really, really cool shot lots of impact and I think the technique that was used was really good. So composition four, impact five and technical five. Four, five, five. Mike, four, yes. five, five, is that correct? Yes. Uh, okay, Aspen Impression by John Lepper, 14 points. And so this one's a little out of sequence, I think, Colleen. Okay. Uh, what would the title be? Cool Landing. Okay, I don't have that. One. So let me. Okay, there were there were four images that were that had prints in David's office, but didn't come across in the in the folders. So this is just okay. one of them. Not a problem. Um, go ahead. Yeah, so anyway, another image. I think this has a lot of impact. I really like all that color against kind of a little bit of a, a it's not a monochromatic background, but uh, just a lot of color with a balloon against that, that background. Um, nice composition. I like it off to the side. Some, the, the strength of this composition, you guys can see my, that little plus, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So what happens is that when we take a main subject and we put it closer to the edge, um, it creates more visual tension. So this is off in terms of the rule of thirds, but I think the composition is, there's other ways to compose in the rule of thirds, but I think having this over to the left a little bit just adds a little bit more energy, a little bit more visual tension. So composition four, impact five, technical four. All right, cool landing by I don't know who. Uh, eight, 13 points. Fence of wheels. Hang on just a sec. Yeah. Okay. Fence of wheels. Yeah, so this is a nice shot. I like all the circles. Um, like the configuration of it. It looks like uh, the horizon may be tilted just a little bit. It feels like it's leaning just a little bit to the right like that. And it also looks like the sky was brought down uh, quite a bit. It's real saturated through here. And then it goes back kind of uh, to a lighter blue back there. So composition is a four or is a three, impact is a four, technical is a three. 
Sense of Wheels by Don Burnell, 10 points. Mama's Flock. Yeah, so this is one of those images that looked a little bit different on the screen than it did in the print. On the print, um, the highlights on the, the geese were, were just a little bit blown out. It was just a little bit overexposed. Uh, aside from that, nice composition, love the, the, the geese in there. Really like the different textures. So textures in the grass, textures in the feathers, textures in the, in the leaves. That amount of uh, differences in the textures builds interest. It looks like there's a vignette that's around it. Um, I use vignettes all the time. I just might suggest just kind of lightening it up a little bit. And also I'm making a huge assumption here, but for the maker, um, if the print was blown out a li little bit or, or too bright, it probably meant that your monitor may be a little dark when you're processing. So the image looks good on the monitor, but it, it, it comes out a little blown out later on. What you might want to do is take that print, hold it up to the monitor, and then calibrate your monitor, brighten that monitor until it kind of matches that print. And that'll give you a really good calibration in terms of, of printing. So composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical is a three. Okay, hold on, my computer's not cooperating. Um, Mama's Flock by Tamara McGee, 11 points. Pulleys. Yeah, so I like the composition on this. I like the different shapes. I might get rid of this little white spot. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I associate it with something not too cool. Um, so the composition is really cool. I think there's some impact with the shot. On the technical side, it looked a little over sharpened, just a little too much clarity. And up here in the right, there's some pixelation in the sky. And uh, that's either coming from a crop or it's coming from the um, over sharpening. So composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical is a three. All right, Pulleys by Donald Burnell, 11 points. Reflecting pool. So just a, a nice solid shot. Um, I'm really liking the memorial down here. And of course I'm liking the, the strong lines that are coming in. Uh, this is a nice environmental shot. Uh, you know, I don't know if, if cropping it, you know, off a little bit might give it some strength, maybe add some, some visual energy and also really make that memorial, make it pop a little bit. That's more of a, maker's choice, uh, aesthetics choice, but otherwise uh, just a solid shot. So composition four, impact four, and technical three. Reflecting pool by Dorothy Detler, 11 points. Smithsonian Castle. Yeah, so just a Again, just a, a solid shot a, across the board. The composition is nice. Uh, this side of the, the towers look, looks pretty straight. This is just a touch crooked. I didn't take any points off though for it, just a kind of an FYI. Uh, and it looks like maybe this side over here was maybe darkened down a little bit. Um, I don't know what the image looked like in the beginning, but you might not uh, need it to do that. Otherwise, just a, just a solid image across the board. So composition four, impact four, technical four. Smithsonian Castle by Dorothy Detler, 12 points. Woodland Beauty. Yeah, so I think this is a super cool shot. Uh, nice job with the lighting. 
the mushroom also acts as, as just a really strong focal point. So boom, our eyes go there. But there was detail through all the dark and on all these leaves and stuff. So the eye goes here, then it starts searching around through here, which is exactly what, what we want. We hit the center of interest, then the mind wants to explore the, the area of interest. Um, just a couple things is I might have maybe darkened down here a little bit, maybe a little bit through here. And if it were me, I would have removed just this little twig. These bright areas are, are competing with, with the main subject and it's taking away a little bit. But if you darken that down, you're just gonna see that mushroom just pop. So Woodland Beauty, fantastic image. So composition is a four, impact is a four, technical is a five. A Woodland Beauty by John Stokum, 13 points. So now we're moving into uh, print general monochrome. Gears. So interestingly enough on this, the first thing that caught my eyes was all this detail. Um, I thought it might have been some over sharpening or maybe some noise, but I took a really close look at it and that's just the texture that's on the gears and all the metals. So really nice composition, lots of shapes. I really like the variations in the tones. So we got bright, we got grays, we got darks. Uh, again, it's that variation in, in the shapes and variations in the tones that's given this a, a lot of uh, uh, impact. Uh, so composition is for, impact is for, and technical is for. Here's by Don Burnell, 12 points. Snacking. This one is Palouse Past. This one was out of sequence. Oh, okay, hold well, on. It yeah, may, not, it may not be sense. on your list. It's not. So what is it, Palouse? It's called Palouse Past. P-A-S-T. Okay, got it. Yeah, so this is a nice shot really enjoy the composition. I think it works. Again, because we have this tree a little bit to the right, that's adding some visual tension. It is competing a little bit with, with the house and this tree. Uh, I don't know if there was more area over to the right, but even if you just went out a little bit more, uh, I, I think it would move that tree a little bit. It would feel like it moved that tree a little bit to the left and a little bit less, uh, competition with, with the house. There are some halos in, in this sharp, or excuse me, there are some halos right across the, you can see this one right across the, the top of the house and then a little bit in the trees. It's just over sharpened a little bit. Um, put that back down and I think it's gonna soften the image a little bit and it's going to pop. So composition is four, impact is three and technical is three. And one of the things I want you guys to be aware of is I haven't sharpened, I haven't sharpened an image in a very long time. Uh, in fact, I soften most of my images. The camera companies, they're, they're always talking about sharpness. They, they're advertising sharpness. Sharpness, 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 something we just always hear in the industry. Um, but our images are coming out really sharp in the just right out of the main files. So just be careful with sharpening. A loose past by a known artist at this point, 10 points. Snacking. Yeah, so this was a really cool image. Love all the details. Uh, love the variations in the tones. We got a face, so that eyeball, boom, that's our center of interest. That's where the eye is going to land. And then it searches through the rest of the, of the animal for those tones. 
Something that's kind of cool is it's bright through here, which is our area of interest. Then it starts to get dark before it gets to, to the edges. So all of this is supporting, keeping that eye in the center. Uh, nice bokeh, nice blurred background. Uh, the only criticism I have of the image, it was over sharpened uh, just a, a little too much. So I think this is one of those images that could even get a higher score later on, just if we soften it. So composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical is a three. Snacking by Tamara McGee, 11 points. The path not taken. I'm just looking at my notes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an interesting image to me uh, because when I first saw it, uh, I kind of looked at it and went, well, but then I stayed in the image. Then I started exploring the image. Then I started looking at the really cool presentation around the edges and stuff. And what I really like about this image is that we've got a trail that's going into the church, but this bright window in the center, that's taking us really deep into the image. Uh, the longer, so, so I'm, I'm telling the, the maker, you caught my attention. And this is one of those images that people are gonna look at. And then I think they're gonna spend more time looking at it as they, again, here's our, our center of interest, this bright area in the center. But then our eyes start exploring all of this around it. And then I also wanted to give the maker cre uh, credibility for the title. Um, so I, I think the title was, was really cool as well. So composition is a four. I'm giving impact a five and technical is a four. Path not taken by John Lepper, 13 points. This is the last one of General Monochrome. Oh. So what about wheels? So. I think we're going to come across that. Okay. I think I just put it in a different folder. Just put a star by it. Okay. I'll find and then I'll, I'll speak to it. If it doesn't come up, I'll let the maker know what the score is because I did see the print. I did give it a score. Okay. Sounds good. All righty. So we're in subject color. And this should be 840 and all is well. So hang on just a second. There it is, I found it. So something I really appreciate about this image cause I shoot down in River Park uh, all, all the time. Uh, it's an aerial shot. It's a, it's a perspective that you don't normally see. The composition is really nice. It was done technically, it's, it's done nice and it's got impact. Um, the issue that I have, and this is gonna be more make, uh, maker intent, is whenever we have an image and we've got some strong text, um, this seems to be my center of interest, but then it quickly goes back to right here. Um, it's almost to the point that it doesn't matter what you name this, the name of this image is gonna come back to, you'll love the park. Um, and that's more of a, just letting the maker know uh, if that's part of what you were going for, fantastic. Uh, if you were going for a little something else, like you know the, the time and the clock, that title probably isn't isn't coming uh, across as strong as you want. But otherwise, composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical is a four. 840 and all is well by Tim McGee, 12 points. 
All right. I don't think this is the right title. Okay. Yeah, this is one that was put in. So this one is called a light meal. Light, L-I-G-H-T. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, so first off, um, when I first look at the image, I would love to have this thing turned around because we like seeing faces. We like seeing the front. That's what I wanted to see. Um, but that's not what we got. However, I want to give the maker uh, a lot of credit for that title. Um, that title gave the whole image all kinds of context, all kinds of context, which, which was really cool. And all the detail. Um, I like the, the composition, the, the long rectangle. It's got some impact because all this detail caught through, through the dragon was sharp. It was clear. The colors are great. So composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical is a four. A Light Meal by Artist Unknown, um, 12 points. All right, so I think we're back on Broadway is my beat. Yeah, so looking on my screen, it's, uh, uh, it, it's small com compared to what the print is. And this print looks a little bit different on the screen than, than it did when I was looking at the physical print. So first off, first of all, composition wise, I love this composition. Uh, normally when we have a tilted horizon, you know, it can feel off, but if we tilt it enough, it just looks like what I think they call a, a Dutch angle. Uh, just add some, some visual energy to it. it. works really well with these strong leading lines. Uh, within the shot itself, this truck really popped out to me as kind of a, a main subject. My eyes wanted to go, go right there. And then they wanted to go to, to this guy here. So the composition is great. Oh, I should also point out a lot of this area through here on the print was blown out. Um, and that when I say blown out, it means we lost textures in the whites. It's just kind of a, a flat white. So composition is great. Um, maybe if you have another image kind of like this, maybe with the subject a little bit different, that may be a, a stronger image. But as is composition for impact for, or excuse me, composition is for impact is a three, technical is a three. Sorry about that. Okay. Broadway is my beat by John Stokem, 10 points. Celebration. Yeah, so maker. Uh, I looked at this image and went, ooh, that looks really cool. Loved your presentation. Uh, just liked the quality of the print. Uh, it really, really jumped out. Compositionally, it's strong. Impact-wise, it's strong. And technically, you did fantastic. Uh, you know, getting that shutter speed to where you need to, to get those streaks, uh, that can be quite the challenge, especially when we only have 10 or 15 minutes for that show and stuff. So composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical, I'm giving a five. Uh, also, before I forget, love the square, love the square frame. Celebration by Kevin Watt, 13 points. Ice ribbon. Yeah, so this is also a solid shot uh, for the maker. Something I really appreciated was uh, a little bit of a slower shutter speed, of course, because it's night. But when we're looking at the people in there, we can see a lot of movement. We can see some blur with the people, they're moving. That's adding visual energy. Uh, it just, it kind of makes that flat two-dimensional image start to come alive. There's a yellow cast over it. Uh, I might suggesting adding a little bit of blue. And then maybe if we can straighten this tree a little bit, the tree may be crooked itself. Um, but if it were mine, I would just try to tip it over just a little bit 
So composition is a four, impact is a four, and technical is a three. Ice Ribbon by Kevin Watt, 11 points. Night Call. <laughs> I'm looking at the image. I didn't see these little dots in, in the first one. So, Night Call. I wasn't exactly sure what to make of this image. So good job maker, because I think that was something you were trying to put in. Uh, clearly you could have put it, put in more uh, for more context, but this is just what I think you were, were going for. I don't remember seeing it. I'll assume these are stars. Um, I, I don't remember seeing in them in the print, but I wasn't really looking for them as well. Uh, anyway, I think it's got some some impact. I think the composition is is very unique and it works. And technically, I just love all these details and all these tones. Uh, that's generating a, a, a lot of interest. Uh, this is going to be an image that if you were to put into to other competitions, you're, you're probably going to get a wide variety of scores because uh, there's going to be a lot of kind of aesthetic, personal, subjective, like or dislike with this image. But I'm giving composition a four, tech, composition four, impact four, technical four. Night Call by John Lepper, 12 points. Spokane New Year. Yeah, so this one, the idea was right. The execution, I think, is just off a touch. Um, the, the big issue with this is that it's just a touch soft uh, in the, the clock tower. I'd like to see it clear. Um, I do like how the fireworks are superimposed over the clock tower because it does make the eyes bounce back and forth. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, but it was just a, a little bit of a, a hard image for me to kind of go through and, and get information on. So composition is a four, impact is a three, and technical is a three. Spokane New Year by Kevin Watt, 10 points. That Pacific Northwest bus. Yeah, so this is one of those images that was quite tough for, for me to judge. There is certainly a lot of impact, bright colors all over the place um, against the, the dark sky. Um, so it's got a lot of impact. The, the composition is, is nice. The, the technical is struggling just a little bit. Um, and it's, it's hard to articulate. It looks like the ground is just a, a little bit over sharpened. And there's something just with the light against the stars that just feels a little bit off. Uh, it probably just had to do with, with the light painting or, or however it was processed. Um, very, very cool image. Don't have a lot of advice for it. Um, but if it's something you can get back to, um, might want to try a, a second shot at it. And the second time I would do it, I would just lighten down the sky in the back here, just make that a little bit darker. And I, I think it would look a little bit better. So composition is a four. I'm giving impact of five on this, but the technical is a three. Um, that Pacific Northwest bus by Tamara McGee, 12 points. The night sweeps in. Yeah, so this shot doesn't necessarily feel like a night shot. I'm assuming that's that's the moon and everything is, is really well lit. Um, not feeling a strong subject with the shot. However, yeah, I do love this this nice long sweep that's that's coming from the clouds. And I'm liking the shape of the sky. A um, little blown out through here, so I might try to darken that down. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, because so sometimes we try to darken down stuff that's really, really bright, and it just gets that weird gray that we don't like. Um, if you're good with cloning, then just 
come over here, set your flow for the cloning to about 10% and just do a, a sweep across that, the bright, and it'll just add a little texture and a little, it's, it's a fake way of, of darkening it down. So composition uh, is a four, impact is a three and technical is a three. Night, the Night Sweeps In by John Lepper, 10 points. Winter in the Park. So a interesting shot, but something I was kind of struggling with this is the clock tower is a main subject and the carousel is also a main subject. Um, and there's a bit of a bias when I say that because I'm familiar with Spokane, I'm familiar with, with the, the major icons. So these two are really sticking out to me, but they're both kind of at their perspective edges. Um, so it just feels like they're, they're competing with each other. And I'm wondering if, if maybe you don't have two shots in this um, or maybe three shots where you could actually do you know, one shot as the clock tower, one shot as the metal, one shot as, as the side, separate them out and, and kind of make them into a triptych, put them side by side, and maybe put a little bit more, if you have it, a little bit more, you know, on the edges and stuff. And I, I think it would look great. Uh, so composition is a three, impact is a four, and technical is a three. Technical when, is a four, my mistake. Technical, technical is a four. a four. Okay, we'll fix that. So Winter in the Park by Tim McGee, 11 points. And that's the last one I have a subject color. Cool. Okay. So our first one is downtown Evansville, Indiana. So is that what this one is? I think so. It is, it is. So I like the feel of this image and I like the composition of, of the image and the technical group. The, the technical is pretty good. It's just not providing me a lot of impact. And, and I think the reason for that is, I would say this is my main subject, this, this sign. There's nothing really pulling me back this way. I know the roads there and those are good leading lines, but there's not nothing much going on back here. So the eyes kind of search here and, and then they come back here because this is where all the detail is. So the, the image, um, is also just a touch soft, sorry about that. So composition is a four, impact is a three, and technical is a three. Downtown Evansville, Indiana by Harry Faulkner, 10 points. Um, is that quarter moon? Uh, I think this one is milk house. Okay. All right. Okay, so this was a really, really cool shot. Uh, when I looked at this file, it looked uh, a little bit soft to me, but I remember it looking really pretty sharp when I was looking at the print. So nice composition, love this next to the, the galactic core, um, just positioned really well. Uh, it's kind of a classical thing. We've got a large triangle right here. And then we have a main subject that's kind of anchored to, to one of those lines. Um, it did look like just the, there was some, some noise reduction that was used on this. And I think it might've been just a little bit too much. Uh, this looks a little soft, but it doesn't look soft like uh, out of focus. It looks soft like we used too much noise and, and it just kind of flattened it out. Um, I can be hard on the star shots because that's what I shoot. I can be critical, but I think this is a, a gorgeous image. 
composition is a four, impact is a five, technical is a four. Milk House by Artist Unknown, um, 13 points. All right. And Quarter Moon. Yeah, so this image popped. Um, I know it's the moon. I know we've all seen shots of the moon. Uh, but when I was looking at it, just the texture of the print, the way it looked, everything looked really, really good. Um, uh, it just, it stood out. Uh, the only issue is I'm going to zoom in. And can you guys see where we've kind of got the purple and the greens and stuff within the moon, mm -hmm. right? So that's just a little bit of color noise. Uh, it, it's gonna pop. And Maker, if it were me, I would just take this image and I would just convert it to black and white. Um, the color goes away. And if that is noise, it's just gonna look like textures. But that print looked really, really good. Um, composition, uh, four, impact five, and technical four. You realize that this was a monochrome. Well, then what may have happened is when it was printed, well, I understand that it's monochrome, but we're still getting the color in there. I see, I, I understand that. So what I would do, you know, and I don't know what the maker did, so if I'm off maker, you gotta let me know. But I've seen that in some of my own shots. And what I do is I just convert it to, to the black and white. So anything that is color, because this could come out of the camera looking monochrome. It's only when you get really close that we start seeing the color. Right. So right. that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're missing two though, I think. Really? This is, this is Tamara, one of them is mine. And I was just looking and I accidentally submitted it in digital, but I can pull it up and screen share if you judged it, if you don't mind, it's the black and white New York one. Uh, Empire State of Mind? Yep. Okay, that one's gonna be coming up. I, oh. got, that, I got that one in digital. Great. So Thanks, it'll Mike. come up. And then uh, going back to, let's see, the second category, there was one called wheels. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I, I don't have the image or I misplaced the image. Uh, uh, it, it was a nice shot, um, but the sky was off. Uh, it looked like there was like something filmy. I'm not exactly sure what caused that, either it was a crop or maybe it was using the noise or I'm not exactly sure, but composition three, impact three, technical three. All right, so Wheels by Donald Burnell was nine points. Okay. So we get them all? I think so. All right, so back up to digital. So I don't know if these are in any particular order. Um, do they they look like they might be in alphabetical order, maybe? Okay. Um, well, if we're not sure, we'll figure it out. So this should be circles and squares. Yes. So now I gotta find my other notes. So I think the composition on this image is really, really cool. Uh, it's a little bit different than, than we normally see. Love the sweeping uh, curve here. Love the tonal varieties. This feels like a really, really huge building, but we're only seeing part of it. Um, this image just really appealed to me. Uh, the only thing I would suggest in this image is I would, this feels like an art, like a professional architectural shot. So what I would do is just, I would straighten this building up. So this line is parallel with the, the frame. Um, that's also kind of a maker's choice. That's just what I would do. 
circles and squares gets five for uh, composition, four for impact, four for technical. Okay, oh shoot, uh, eight, 13. All right, so circles and squares by Barbara Murray, 13 points. And then, okay, tell me the title on that one. Uh, close up. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Okay. Hold on. And what category would this one be, Mike? Is this a. Uh, my guess would be monochrome general. Okay. And if I'm wrong, maker, sorry. <laughs> For, you can correct us. We're good. All righty, go ahead. Okay, so I think this is a super cool image. Uh, I'll talk about the, the center of interest. That's where our, our eyes land. And the strongest feature that'll get our attention every, every, every single time is, is a face. So by having the... Um, binoculars up there looking directly to us. Uh, it actually looks a little bit alien. And then our eyes go in because we're human and this is just what we do. We land on these binoculars and then we go right in here because we want to get a read on that face, right? Uh, what's the reaction and stuff? And it's really kind of, you know, plain, but lots of different textures, lots of different tonal values a fun image, a, a happy image. So uh, composition is a five, impact is a five, and I gave technical a five. Close up by Artist Unknown, 15 points. Okay. That's John Klikas. Okay, hold on, give me a second here. Thank you, John. Okay. Um, give me a title on this one, please. Sure. This is Empire State of Mind. Okay, I saw that. And Colleen, this is supposed to be in print, so I don't know if we can move it um, to print after we're done. Um, I don't know what I can do. Sure. Okay. Uh, what? Send me, an, uh, send me a, a message and remind me because I'll forget. Will do. Thanks, yeah. Colleen. All right, hon. And I want to let you know that I did judge this from the print too. Cool, so thanks, Mike. It was it, it was judged from the others. So this is an image. Um, it had a, a a strong first impression, and then it, it just fell apart a little bit. So the the negative on it is the the image is a touch soft. And then right through here, I think this was probably all blown out and the maker went in to, you know, soften that, get some of the details back and stuff. Um, it wasn't a bad job, but it's kind of a noticeable job. So we want to try to do just a little bit better. Um, having said that, the strength of the image is I love the tones. Um, I love that dark sky. I like the glow of the sky. I like all the lights that are going on. I like the tonal changes and stuff. I think that's that that's really strong. So I think this is an image that has a lot going for it. Um, just a little bit on the technical that that needs a little bit more help. So composition is, is a four, impact is a, a three, and technical is a two. Uh, four, three. All right, I have to add. Uh, so this is Empire State of Mind by Tamara McGee, nine points. Okay, I saw this that. is called Fire Station. Fire Station One, got it. Okay, so I don't have a lot to say on this the, this image. Um, it's a nice shot. It's a nice shot of the, the, the fire truck. Um, I'm not picking up a lot of, of motion. I'm not exactly sure what the story is. Uh, so this is kind of coming across as, you know, an editorial type of shot. Um, 
So not a lot to say on it. So composition is a three, impact is a four, and technical is a three. Hold on. Just got <laughs> just got bumped. No, it's it's all good. I'm uh, actually really pleased that we were able to go back and, and yeah. pull all these and get them judged. So Fire Station 1 by John Klikas, I lost it, 10 points. All right, um, give me a title for this one, please. Frosty Night. Oh, where did I see that? There it is. Got it. Yeah, so... Um, uh, I am actually kind of envious of this shot. Um, love the, the mood to the shot, love the, the lighting for it. Um, unfortunately there, there are a few technical issues. Uh, if we look across the horizon, I don't know if the maker was trying to match up the horizons, uh, the sky to the ground, but there's, there's a little bit of a halo. Um, just a little bit off. And then over here on the left, I don't know if you can see it or not. Whoops. But this is called banding through here. So these are just lights, variations in color uh, as, as it switch colors softly. And it sometimes creates that banding. Or if we do a, a large crop, it, it can happen. There's a little bit over here. Um, just want the maker to know I bump into that all the time and it drives me freaking nuts. How I've been dealing with it lately, though, is someone taught me a trick. Uh, if you're using Photoshop, images tend to go to, into Photoshop with 8-bit color, uh, but we can go to the mode and switch it to 16-bit color. And when we start using the larger color palette, tends to softening out the banding and it, it's, it's much easier to work with. Um, but again, uh, with the criticisms, this is a shot I, I would love to have. It was just, it's just cool. So composition is a four, impact is a four and technical is a three. Oops. Oh, great. <laughs> it didn't even record, come on. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you're making me have to do math. Frosty <laughs> Night by David Powers. <laughs> eleven points. Okay. Oops. There we go. All right. Um, give me a title, please. Sure, this one I think is called God's Omnipotence. Okay, God's Omnipotence, got it. Yeah, so this is a beautiful image. This is a, a gorgeous image. And kind of like that night scene with the clock tower and the uh, carousel, we've kind of got two main subjects. So we have this area over here on the far left and then we have this area on the far right. Um, my recommendation would have been maybe focus on one or the other. Um, I, again, I, I wasn't there, I don't know, but you know. And then if there's more area to the left, that could be a really, really cool composition. So nicely done. Um, it looked like it was, uh, the, the stars are sharp, the night's done nice. That's really tough to do. Looks like uh, some noise reduction was used on it. Um, I don't think it's anything anyone's gonna notice, but it looked just a little too much. I might back off. If there's a little grain in a shot like this, that's just fine. So, but otherwise, gorgeous shot, love the colors. Uh, I'm giving composition a three on this, impact is a four and technical is a four. All right, um, God's Omnipotence by Alice Garland, 11 points. Oh boy, give me another title, please. 
This is Harrisburg. Oh, it is right there. All right, got it. Yeah, so for the maker, um, I think you're seeing something that you wanted in the image, but I think a lot of this through here, these angles, I think they're taking away from, from the main subject. Um, what came pretty quick to me was, that's your shot. Um, the eyes go right to, to here. There's all kinds of textures. There's all kinds of colors. Um, that's a, you know, just my opinion. Uh, it'd be cool to be able to talk to you to see what, what you were thinking about this. I'm just thinking these lines are distracting from, from your main subject. Otherwise it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, let's see. So composition is a three impact is a four technical is a four. All right. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania by Harry Faulkner, 11 points. Mars and friends. Yeah, so this is kind of an interesting shot. Um, unfortunately, it, it kind of broke down on the moon uh, as we go in a little bit. Um, it just, it gets kind of muddy. I don't know if that's from like a strong crop. Uh, it goes really, really dark, really contrasty. And I'm not sure where the yellow is coming from. Uh, that, that could have just been a white balance setting. Um, you know, or it, it could have been maker's choice. So to me, it's kind of a cool idea, uh, just needs a little bit more in, in the technical. And if you could get a little more detail, that would look good. So composition is a three, impact is a three, and technical is a three. Mars and Friends by David Powers, nine points. Okay. I'm going to guess that Schweitzer ski hill at night. I think so. Yeah, so this is one of those images that I was kind of contemplating a, a little bit on. Um, really like the, the composition, just not really picking uh, up on the story on this uh, as much as I would like to. Uh, very dark through here, all through here in the trees. If there would be a way that we could lighten that up, get a little bit more detail in there, maybe lighten it up through here too. Uh, I think that would make the, the image pop. Uh, when I looked in close, I am seeing people, you know, on, on the course and stuff. So I don't know if this was handheld with a little bit faster shutter speed or if it was on a tripod. Uh, it could have been either. Because uh, if it was on a tripod and the, the lens was open for a little bit, then you're not going to see all the skiers that are moving. So composition is, is a four, impact is a three, and technical is a three. Schweitzer, Ski Hill at night, 10 points. Oh, by Dorothy Detler. Seattle at night. So for, for the maker, um, I think you had the right idea with this one. Execution fell just a little bit short. Uh, the buildings in the distance are, are soft. We've got some blowouts here. And then the, the sky looks a little bit off. It has a, a kind of a, a weird filmy look to it. Not exactly sure where that's coming from. Um, so those are the negatives. Uh, on the positives though, uh, I really like this this wharf uh, that's or the wharf that's coming in. Um, I think you know a shot like this or something close to it. Uh, if you were able to do it again, I think that could be a really really cool looking shot. Um, when we shoot scenes like this, we we tend to shoot you know, using a wide angle lens, right? We want that wide angle lens so we can get everything in the shot. Uh, when I shoot shots like this, I'll actually use a 50 millimeter or maybe even the 70 millimeter, put it on its side, take three or four shots and then stitch those together. 
if you can do something like that, that's what I would recommend. So what happens is when you zoom in with a 70 or if you even get it up to 100, um, the camera has a much easier time focusing on that stuff in the background. And then you end up with just tons of detail. Uh, so for this one, Seattle at night, composition is a four, impact is a three, and technical is a two. Uh, Seattle at Night by Butch Shop, nine points. Oh, I bet that's Sp Spanish clothes dryer for rainy days. <laughs> yeah, so this one was, you know, thank you, Maker. This was a really cool shot. Um, <laughs> it took me a while to understand that this is an umbrella that they're putting on the outside lines to keep them dry from the rain. <laughs> um, I just, just really like that. So we've got a strong subject. We got nice colors against uh, the blues, against the yellows. We got lots of textures, um, the trim here, the detail in the wall, all of this, all against that. And again, variety in textures, variety in shapes, variety in colors. Those are things the mind really, really likes. Uh, there's a vignette that's around it, and my advice would be just tone that vignette down just a little bit, but otherwise, a uh, pretty strong piece. So I did uh, composition is a five, uh, impact is a five, and technical is a four. All right, Spanish clothes dryers for a rainy day by Dorothy Detler, 14 points. All right. So that must be the Corona. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so when I shot this, saw this shot, I just kind of went, you know, ooh, that looks really, really cool. And Mm, I'm probably not going to be able to shoot that because even if I go to Fairbanks sometime, the Northern Lights aren't going to be going. So this is, is absolutely gorgeous. Love the sweep. Um, I did look at the composition a little bit. Uh, so I, I just kind of play with some of your images sometimes to see you know, if we can strengthen them or not. I like something like this, um, but the maker, if you like this down here, I would leave it just, just, just like that. Um, everything looks really, really good. The colors are great. The sky's done great. Uh, the, the, the stars are off just a touch, but I don't think anyone's really, really going to, to notice that. So this one is a nice composition of four, impact is five, and technical is four. Um, the Corona in Fairbanks, Alaska by Alice Garland, 13 points. Phew, this is our last one, huh? Uh, vintage lanterns to get a violet sky. Yeah, so this is one of those images uh, that I kind of went, hmm, and then had to, to think it through a little bit. So to start off with uh, just the criticism, it looks like the edges were burned down quite a bit. Um, I would just ease off on that and maybe just do a, a light vignette. My general rule of thumb for vignettes is that if you can see them, then they become a design element and they actually can, you know, compete with the shot. Uh, also, if it would have been possible just to get a little bit more on the left, uh, I think that would have made it stronger. What I love about the image is I love those purples and I love those yellows. Uh, that's a street light at, at twilight. Those can be extraordinarily difficult to get, but the maker got it and they got all this, this detail in it. And I also appreciate the perspective. Uh, the maker may have been standing at, at full height, but it feels like they're down low looking up and it's just making those objects look, look really, really big. So composition is a four, impact is a four and technical is a three. 
All right, Vintage Lanterns Against a Violet Sky by Barbara Murray, 11 points. That's it. Shoo! How are you guys doing? Nice. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so um, I'm making an, an offer to you guys if you're interested. Uh, Dave and I, David and I ended up in a conversation for the professional photographers of Washington, uh, I'm putting together what's called a print party. And what we've done for the last four years is we get together and we just help each other out. Uh, David was saying that a lot of members would be interested in doing something where we just get together as a group and then we bring the images up and then we openly talk about them. Um, so if you're an artist or you're doing something you know, specific, you can let people know or, you know, uh, let the group know what you were trying to do. Uh, the real trick with this is we spend more of our time looking for the positives and what was successful. Certainly, we, we, we talk about the criticisms, but we kind of make them short and sweet. Uh, for the for PPW, the, these last four years, um, it's just been a huge boom because we can just openly talk about the images. And what's kind of cool is people could bring their, their best images, but it's also kind of cool if you bring in your questionable images, um, those that you really like, but would like to have some, some advice on. Uh, so if, if the group is interested in doing something like that, uh, it wouldn't take much to put something together, get some of your images together, and then talk about them. Um, another really cool aspect of this is, if I'm judging your, your, your prints like this, you know, I wanna do the best job I can, but I'm also one voice, you know, it's just one opinion, you know, that, that can be kind of subjective. But when we've done this in the past, um, we found that even people who are, are relatively new can still contribute because most people can discern a, a good image from a bad image. It's just that people who are, are new may not be able to articulate it or know the fine points. Um, but then what happens is, you know, if we've got a room of let's say 10 or 15 people, um, you know, now it's not just one person talking, but various skill levels coming across the board, you know, coming together. So, if you're willing to do something like that, I'd be willing to to moderate it. So cool. And we'd like to do that. It, it needs to be in person. So we want to do that as soon as we can actually get together in person. We're kind of hoping maybe in the next couple of months sometime. Yeah, and then, and then finally with that too is um, when we're doing that, I call it photo appreciation. I've got some guidelines. It's been working great across the board. We're not there to judge. We're not there to score. Um, certainly we can say things, hey, I think it would do good or well, it needs some work you know, to, to be able to do good. Um, but it's just really <clears throat> just talking about the image, let the maker talk and then being able to give them advice. So thanks Mike for that yeah. offer and we're gonna take you up on it. <clears throat> yeah, cool, cool, I'd, I'd love to. Um, just real quick. So PPA is the parent organization over all the affiliates around the state. Okay. And because of Zoom, the, a lot of the affiliates went to Zoom for their, their, their competitions, um, you know, for education. We're going this other route because when we've done this in the past, you can really feel the camaraderie. You know, it, it just really starts coming together. And then the last thing I want to say to you guys is really good job getting back to print night. Um, PPW, PPA, they're all going virtual. Um, it's, it's inexpensive. It's easier to put together. Um, but you just lose that, that work and prestige that, that comes with a print. Um, I've told a few of you guys, I enjoy the print night more than the digital night. Um, because I think we put more effort when we're going to make a print and actually display it. Um, I don't know if that's just human nature or, or whatever else, but it's just, 
you know, it's there. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm done talking. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. You did a great job Thank judging so as much. always, and we yes. really appreciate it. By That's the way, awesome. I am the mystery photographer. <clears throat> um, <laughs> And um, we are going to have an open house if you want to come down and see the prints. If you don't want to come to an open house, um, just give us a call and make sure we're here. And you're welcome to stop in any time you're in the neighborhood. Um, and John Clicus, 15 points. Wow. Good job, John. <clears throat> and then don't forget, John Lepper is doing his, his training. John, do you want to say a word about it again? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have Dorothy send out uh, a PDF file with directions, like about a three page directional thing that people could print out and maybe kind of follow along and make some notes on if they want to. It's actually not that hard to do and it's a lot of fun. And so I encourage people that, you know, ha that have Photoshop. I don't have GIMP, but I know uh, one of our Facebook uh, followers uses GIMP and does pretty much the same thing, but uh, Anyway, I, I hope people come and watch and I hope people can, you know, figure it out. It's not that hard. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see you next Wednesday. And John has made some incredibly good use of that. And I saw one in his cellar <laughs> the other day that it is to die for. So <laughs> definitely come. <clears throat> so if anybody would like to talk about anything else, now's the time. Oh, I want to know why Don Burnell came back from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> well, hearing none, I guess we're done for tonight. And thanks again, Mike. We really yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And thank we you are so much. very much. Oh, waving his finger at you. who's the waving a finger? John Clegus? John. You need you're to muted. unmute yourself. You're John. muted, John. Unmute yourself. Don, unmute yourself there on the right or the left, excuse me, of your screen. Down your space. Oh, okay. There you there you go. Go. Um, I was just wanted to review what, what loose ends we still have with the uh, leasing a place. Well, mm. right now we don't have a, we don't have a conclusion yet. So, but it, um, I think the um, the church is still is probably on the top towards the top, if not the top of the list at the moment. But uh, let me get back to you. So, other than that, if anybody knows how to clean incredibly toxic garbage off of our things, we could take them out of storage and um, clean them up. Otherwise, we'll have to wait for Surf Pro to do it for us. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. thank you everybody for coming. Thank you everybody for doing prints. And don't forget that the 29th is digital upload night for digital night. So good night all. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.